this is a series of photographs. I have been working on for about a year so far. It's part of a three-year project. I have a notional image of working on it for at least three years. And uh, it's a group of Muay Thai fighters who train at a gym called Sacrosert, which is down a back alley in Boston. I first came across them. Uh, I was photographing a charity event, which is a uh, New Year Song Kang to the Gala Dinner. We had uh, dancers and singers, and these guys who were doing their demonstration. Uh, I took a few photos of them on the stage, and they asked me to email them uh, the photos. The photos weren't very good at all, so I thought, here's an opportunity to take myself completely outside of my comfort zone and go to an environment I would never normally consider going to. Basically full of full of guys and women who are incredibly tough, incredibly hard. And I thought I'd ask if I could go and photograph them at their gym. So I've been there several times thus far. Uh, photographing training sessions, photographing fights, and trying to develop a body of work which captures not just the fights themselves, but all, all the sort of effort, you know, the, the sort of sweat and toil that goes into, into preparing for these fights. You know, considering for three minutes in the ring, they spent hundreds of hours just preparing themselves. Uh, fascinating experience because uh, what I discovered, and it's great to take myself out of my comfort zone, was uh, what fantastically nice people they are. Uh, really decent guys, very disciplined. I've never had a fondness for Western style of boxing and I assumed in attending what is an amateur club, I assumed it would be akin to amateur level sort of Western boxing, a little bit imprecise, a little bit sloppy. But this club in particular are incredibly precise in the fighting and I, I, I think I'm a thoroughbred innate pacifist, but there, there's something really quite artistic about what they do probably take a more sort of uh, East Asian spiritual approach. Uh, when I've seen them fight at tournaments against other clubs, uh, the other clubs tend to have a more Western flavour to them, so they, they probably punch hard, but with uh, less finesse, where these guys are all incredibly disciplined. And so essentially what I've been looking to do is to try to capture something of the inner discipline This is just the start of the project. These are really formative test images. Uh, as I get used to the environment, um, as I get used to the people, and they get used to me, um, as I get used to the, the art itself, uh, why tie, and working out what sort of angles and positions work. So a significantly difficult thing is the fact that um, they're constantly trained to protect their faces it's very hard to get shot with, with face contact in because if you see the face during the fight, that's when they're opening themselves up for a knockout blow. Um, they have a series of photographs on the wall of the club from famous Thai uh, tournaments, famous matches, famous boxes. And what I noticed in looking at those images were the best images are the ones which have facial facial interest, face contact, eye contact with them, but they are all the ones which coincide with the knockout blow. So, uh, considering I'm something of a pacifist, I'm rather ironically way to get my shot of the knockout blow. Um, Influence-wise, uh, I'm sort of a great fan of the sports along with uh, Eamon McCabe. Uh, I like the documentary street photography of Martin so I'm sort of influenced the approach by the theme and content by Amy McKay, but the approach is very much a uh, sort of fly on the wall. Uh, I just like to go there, move around, uh, dance around with the camera, glue to my face, and just hope that the guys don't become self-conscious, don't react to my presence. 
and that's why they, they eventually they contacted the market as well. Uh, after, a couple, after a couple of sessions there, they, uh, there's no reaction at all. They just get on with their stuff. Um, so I'm really getting closer and closer in the hope that I don't get a straight punch destroying my camera equipment. Okay. The last time they went, they invited me to stop training in with them, uh, which I politely declined at this stage. But who knows what uh, they would come along with. Uh, the people are interesting as well is that uh, this guy, it turns out, is doing a PhD at Monmouth University. Um, this guy here is a uh, fine artist. Thank you. 